coming up next, and most importantly, the welcome and opening address by His Excellency, Mr. Gop Sapawasu, Deputy Prime Minister of Thailand. Excellencies, Excellency Ambassador, distinguished participants, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good, good morning to you all. On behalf of the Royal Thai Government, would like to extend a very warm welcome to all awesome participants, excellencies, and our distinguished guests. It is a great pleasure for me to be invited to preside over the opening ceremony. Last night, I was going through my notes, the prepared speech, and was kind of wondering what is the purpose of the meeting itself. Because he was saying a lot of things which is quite uh, right on track with our government policy, which is more or less helping the unemployed and retool, retrain the manufacturing side of, of our economic uh, sector. So <clears throat> I think it's, it's important, and especially for the few speeches, uh, talk more about the lifelong learning. And sometimes I wonder how long are we talking about? 60 years? 80 years? Maybe one of us could go up to 100 years. And our very important guest was comparing that lifelong learning is more like building a house, or it's more like a house. And the most important is, of course, to have a perfect foundation. I think Mr. Carlson started off with education to our children, which is more or less is our Democrat policy. The government under the leadership of Prime Minister Abhisit consider education is the most important policy of all. And because of the unequally uh, economic capability of our citizens, in other words, we have middle income, low income, and high income, but the percentage of our low income family is so high that our children do not have equal opportunities in terms of education. So what we did and consider to be our most important policy and it's being implemented by Excellency Minister Julin at the moment is the truly free education for all of our children. Our constitution saying that the children should have free education but it never have been ever before that it is a truly free education. So we decided it's about time to do or lay down the good foundation for our house. So we want to give all the opportunities for our children. So we give them chances, provided them free education for all up to their 12 years plus three of education. Apart from that, we even go further by having a zero interest, more or less, funding for those that want to further their education into the colleges or universities. With the economic crisis, we have laid down the stimulus package. It's, it's uh, very fashionable terms because Every country is doing the stimulus package. 
we did two of them. One is what we call the emergency stimulus package. It was out and the truly free education was part of it. The second one is already on the, on the plan. It's more or less like travel ready type of projects, but weighed heavily as well on the school modernization program. For the next three years, we will be giving, if I remember correctly, 200,000 just computers alone to all the schools nationwide. We will be doing almost, I think we should be able to do complete 100% remodernizations of the e-learning center in every school. I think this just want to, to give some ideas from our friend from Europe that, that these are the kind of things that government and the, the Prime Minister Abhisit was aiming for. When, when you finish the school, you go to work and, and I guess you basically, one of the subject here, you talk about uh, school in factories. The, we have the program just to help with factories that being hit hard with the economic crisis. And we want to turn the crisis into a good opportunities. So we provide good size of our budget to help retraining program within the factories. They could apply, and I think we provide about a billion baht funding for any factories that agree not to lay off their staff, and we will pay for the cost of the training program, including paying some part of the salaries for their workforce as well. And these are going quite well. They did sign a memorandum with us saying that they will not lay off their employees for the next 12 months. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think we will be ready when the economy turns around and then we have the people, the workforce that that been retrained and ready to go compete with the with the uh, possibility of bringing more income into Thailand. The 